Good, beautiful morning to you. Hello, friends. I'm Sylvia, the crafty old lady, and this is what it looks like outside my window today. <laughs> I'm going to try to zoom in and see if you can see the little pond over there. Do you see it? It's our little pond. It's our little, um, you can't see it in the summer and spring at all. Mostly just in the winter. That's our little um, federal and state protected wetlands over there. We're so blessed to have that right across the street from our house in the middle of the city. Oops. <laughs> well, today is day, what, 13 or 14? I think it's 14 of December Daily. Well, as we're filming, it's actually only the 12th, but for you guys, it should be the 14th. And this is where we left off yesterday, and I decided to, I forgot I had this, the most beautiful wrapping paper in the world, as far as I'm concerned, at least at the moment. Um, and it's very thick. I got it from TJ Maxx, so it's very high quality compared to the Dollar Tree wallpapers, but, and, or, I don't, no, no, why? I keep calling wrapping paper wallpaper, but I do. Anyway, I decided to put a deer on here, and then I had the bright or not so bright idea of filling in the little cracks with a green marker, and then, of course, I screwed up here. So, I, it does not have the same effect as using ink on the edges, but it's not as white. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's done. The deed is done, and that's how it's going to have to stay. So, I'm reserving this page for my son's birthday. And then over here, I thought we would do a simple hidden journaling spot. And I have all three of these tags that I'm going to put on top of this little tiny journaling spot. And that is going to be our simple spread for... December 14th. And so really all I need to do is figure out where I want to put this. So I'm going to just do that and then we'll put my little red button brad in there and that'll be it for this spread. Okay, so I'm just going to take my... Actually, you don't need to see me. I could do this. How about that? I'm going to get my glue stick and I'm just going to glue the back side of this paper. Hopefully there won't be any chunks on it. <laughs> and glue this down right about where I want it to be. Well, actually exactly where I want it to be. Which is kind of in the center. So, I don't know if you guys watched my December 10th video, but you, if you did, you know that um, the other night, I think it was, it was Saturday night, uh, there was a huge explosion nearby, and it turned out to be a house had exploded. And um, as of today, the, there was two people living in the house. The man that lived there was killed, and the um, his wife, or, or woman that was living there, um, was injured, but okay. And I tell you what, I don't know how she survived a blast in a house that it totally obliterated the house. The house no longer exists. Um, it's just rubble. It just it just got blown to bits. I don't know how she could possibly have survived. But right now, uh, a few days later, the road is still closed. Residents were evacuated, just in case. Although they say there's no threat to the public. Um, a lot of the houses were damaged. Some of the houses like had their doors blown off or their windows blown out. So there was a lot of damage. The two houses next to the house that actually um, you know, exploded were on fire and damaged pretty extensively. But the road is closed off and there's um, 
state troopers guarding each end of the road. So only residents were allowed to go in and board up and make their homes, you know, um, safe so nobody could go in and rob and them and stuff. But, and that was it. And um, I, what I didn't realize is all those gas pipes to the houses are connected. So it's pretty um, scary. And last summer, they were working on the gas pipes under the road, and that makes me wonder if something was not done correctly. I'm hoping I have a red number one left. I have a four. And I guess it's, you know, obviously still under investigation, but the consensus is uh, that it was a gas leak. You know, they, they had called because they smelled the gas leak. I don't know why they didn't leave their home. Uh, I don't see a one. And, but so this is another warning, you know, if you smell gas, please get out of your house and, uh, you know, call the gas company and get out of your house. Maybe even warn your neighbors next to you because you just never know what can happen. In the blink of an eye, everything can be gone, including lives. And it's just such a sad, tragic accident. And it makes you think, you know, get your priorities straight before a tragic <laughs> tragedy strikes. And I don't know. Oh, I forgot to take this out. I don't think I'm going to be able to use a red one. I don't have a red one. Uh, <laughs> maybe I could cut a seven down. What would that look like? It'd be a little bit slanted. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, and it just makes you like think sometimes we worry about things that aren't even important, you know? I think that looks okay. Um, so that's my word of wisdom for the day. If you smell gas, get out of your house. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I hope you are doing well. I hope you're healthy and happy and doing everything you can to keep yourself safe. All my kids were like, I asked them if they had carbon monoxide detectors and smoke detectors and all that and they're like oh come on mom don't freak out just because of an accident that happened and I'm like I'm not freaking out just want to make sure everybody's got them or I'll get them for you for Christmas <laughs> okay so um I guess that's it I don't think I'm going to decorate it any further than that we've got our each one of these the this one is, to me, the cutest, but I wanted to wish you all peace, love, and joy. <laughs> so we'll, thanks for watching, and we will see you again tomorrow for number 15. Now, I found this, which I'm not going to use for number 15, but I thought I'd use it for 24. And I'm probably just going to use this, and that's it. Um, and that'll be my 24, so now you know what's going to happen on 24. And 24 will be my last post until I can get Christmas up, something about Christmas up. So we'll do that. And um, I was thinking about maybe covering up this page with some of this because I didn't get it in my, or maybe even this page. I don't know. <laughs> We shall see, but thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.